Hey there, McAllister here with Toasty DIY. As you may know, I'm the editor for the main channel, Toasty Bros, and what I wanna do today is take a look at a product that we got sent, and I wanna just kinda give my opinion on it and say, you know, how I would use it or if I would use it for editing. And that product is the, the Stream Deck Pedal by Elgato. So we're gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna hop over to the computer and kinda show you my, my basic opinion, some things you might use this for, you know, what I think it'd be convenient for, and would I use it for Premiere Pro. So let's go that way. As far as the unboxing experience goes, the packaging was very nice. The most important thing you'll find inside, however, is the pedal itself. It comes in a nice little cloth-like bag. Uh, pop that open, you'll get to hold it for the first time. It's got some pretty nice like little actuation when you press down on it. You can definitely feel it when it goes. Uh, I'll have a little bit more about this later when it comes to actually using it. Uh, but the buttons are not going to be pressed by accident. I imagine you can go in and mess around with it if you want to tighter or looser. It does come with extra springs, so you can decide whether you want to do that or not. It comes also with a little manual, uh, two of them in fact, but they do give you replacements like you see here. In case you were to be a little bit rougher on it, you could probably put these in there to replace them over time or maybe even add them on to make it uh, tougher to press down on accident if you've got a heavier foot or something like that. Uh, lastly, it comes with a nice little braided cable in the back here, and that's all that comes in the box. So let's see how it actually works. So once you bring up your Stream Deck software, you can go ahead and go here to switch over to the Stream Deck pedal. If you don't have any other, you know, Stream Deck equipment installed, this should just come straight up. It'll usually have a welcome thing here. I already took that out, but this is where you can assign what you want to go on them. You have all your options here from Game Capture to OBS Studio to all that. For me, you'll mostly see me use things in the systems key because this way I can assign hotkeys through programs I have inside of Adobe Premiere. For instance, in Stream Deck, if we go to my Premiere setup, you'll see I have things like Control P bound. This is because I use a program called Excalibur that allows me to create very niche and set up hotkeys. And this activates those hotkeys so I don't actually have to come up with all these random ones. I don't have to remember them. I can just assign them to buttons. So what I'm hoping for and was hoping for was to use the Stream Deck pedals to automate a couple more things. So in my journey to try to use these pedals, I, I tried to come up with a few different things that I didn't already have bound that I would maybe want to set up. And so I'm gonna go through some things that I think would be useful for people that do edit, that may be possible considerations for what you might wanna bind to your pedals. Uh, However, for me, they didn't really work out as I already have them set up and I'm, I'm so accustomed to be, them being where they are. So, for instance, one you may want to set up is uh, Ripple Delete Left or Right. That would be really nice for the left and right pedal to help you go through, listen to audio. So that's his intro, so I want to go to left where he's not talking, and there's the hello. So now, look, we're straight into it. So then we can go to the end of where he's talking and W Delete. So that would be one use, and that's going to be, you know, easy for your brain to remember left pedal left delete right pedal right delete as for the middle one uh if you want to go for something a little more niche you could go for in and out points you know i and o and then k bound to the middle so you can get rid of it when you're done uh these are different thoughts i had i even had it bound to, for a little bit to the marker section so as you're watching if you see something you like you just give it a quick little press and then you're, you're set up to go uh for me I, I struggled to find a setting that i didn't already have bound uh, everything from you know time, speed, and duration to switching between your different keys, uh, none of them really functioned for me. So the ones that I recommended, I could see you doing personally. I I like them being on the actual keyboard. You could also change it to be shuttle left and right, so that way you can speed through and you know maybe hit the middle button to put it back to normal or maybe the middle button be pause. You could pick different ones and I would say this could definitely be useful for it. If you do use a program like Excalibur, you could go into your settings here and create a special hotkey. So let's say that whenever you press the button, you have a lot of punch-ins, you know, for YouTube videos, you'll have that a lot. So we can set it to be position and go here and add a user command and call it punch. And this is gonna be just cause we have a talker who's right in the middle of our scene and we just wanna set it to be position and you know if it's 1920 by 1080 then we'll just go ahead and say 1920 by 1080 so it resets it if you've messed with it and then we want to add a command to scale and now we set it so now it's centered we want to go in 150 percent just add variety to our shots and then you can use that setting for that so if i go in here to excalibur i can just go ahead what did i call that punch in yeah punch doesn't work in this video because it's not a 1920 by 1080, but you can kind of see the point. I could then go into here and bind that to a specific one, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of showing the general idea. 
I also took the foot pedal and used it in a, a game, not really a, an intense game at all. I used it in Teamfight Tactics from League of Legends and just bound it to a few things to try it out to show different functions you might use. In this case, I bound it to taunt so I could step on the button to taunt. It was just showing that off that you could theoretically use this if you wanted to just bind it to wherever you stomp, your character stomps or whatever you want to do. I also bound the left and right one to be the ability to switch between other players' boards to see what they're building. and. Uh, you can set the middle one to, instead of being taunt, being to return. So you can you can really come through and set this up for just TFT if you like that, or for Lee you can set it for abilities like Flash. Uh, I think really the ideal target for this though is people that want to use push to talk. If you want to use push to talk as your streamer, you want one set up for possibly your Discord chat, one set up for your uh, your stream chat or a mute button, anything you'd like on that nature. I feel like that's really who this is targeted at. As far as for editing, uh, I don't know that I would throw this out as an idea to anybody uh, particularly I think a stream deck is far more value for the money you can set up these folders and top folders with icons so that's what I would recommend so as far as final thoughts on the Elgato pedal uh, it's not for me I won't be using it for editing I'll probably pass it along uh, you can go through one of my biggest gripes was that when I placed my foot on it I really had to have my whole foot to get that to go down fast enough Turns out those springs, those extra ones they give you are different tensions. So I could go through, undo it and try it, or even stop the middle button from functioning if I just wanted to use it for the left and right. But personally, I don't have a setting that I think would benefit me with it. So I'm probably gonna give it to Matt and Matt will probably use it for the streams. So the intended purpose. So the end all be all, if you are an editor and you're looking at the, the pedal, go for it if you think it'll work. This is just my opinion on it and my use case. I think that the stream deck will really provide you more value if you wanna do something. But other than that, that's all I have to say. So peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.